Now in Media Composer, of course, we can reuse footage over and over again and edit it differently in different sequences, and that doesn't affect the, the main clip there. But did you know we can actually edit sequences into our sequences? This is really, really cool, really uh, time-saving uh, workflow here, of course, depending on, uh, you know, what you're doing. So I'm just working on some more Piano Wars videos here in Media Composer. Now, if we head to my sequences bin here, you can see this sequence right here. You can see the readout name right there. It's the uh, the Gentleman versus the uh, Sample Tank 3 Upright Piano. I'm already done with this video, so now I'm ready to do my next video. And I have a bunch of different videos that I want to do here. So maybe next I want to do, I don't know, maybe uh, this modern upright, okay, addictive keys versus maybe a digital grand top or maybe the Maverick or something. Now, if you look in our Piano Wars, you know, it, it starts out the basically the same way here. That's our intro. Then we have a couple different things that we would have to change here, right? So I could go ahead and start my next sequence, which I'll do. Let me go ahead and pop into my sequences bin here. I'll just do a new sequence. We'll call this, this is going to be Addictive Keys, Modern Upright. This will be verse, say the gentleman. Okay, from Native Instruments. So there we go. Now all we have to do is start rebuilding our sequence. I can always load up our, our other sequences or completed videos that we already have here. All right, let's go back to our, the one we wanna work on and, well, okay, let's go ahead and start building this up. I, I happen to have all the footage that I need uh, to cut in and you know we could do that and I have all my effects saved so that is of course one thing that you can do is I can just find all the footage that I need which I know I have in here somewhere here's our intro here and then I could start laying my images over top of that but let's go back to our sequence here wouldn't it be nice to just use this basic layout that we already have uh, even if I'm going to replace, which in this case I would be replacing, completely replacing all of the piano tracks, although I guess I could keep the gentleman in there uh, if I wanted. Uh, if I'm going to replace all of this, it's it's still nice to have all of this stuff built in and ready to go, okay, and, and sectioned out exactly how I need it. And then I can just pop in there and use replace edit to replace these images here, which I showed in a, uh, in a different video so wouldn't that be nice but you know if I double click on this sequence it just loads it up here and I can't really get it into this sequence well actually you can it's it's really easy just I'll just grab it here and we'll drop it right in our source monitor okay pa pow look at that let me actually clear clear our monitor there now you can see I only have three tracks in here one video and two audio now as soon as I throw this up here now you can see all of these tracks that appear those are all the tracks that I, I would get with this sequence here now, of course, I could start unticking some of these if I don't want all of those tracks in there, but I actually want all of these in there because I want the full sequence. So let's just go ahead and cut that in. And look at that. We're still on our Addictive Keys versus the Gentleman uh, sequence there. I mean, I can load this one up here. And you can see there and load this one up here. There we go. So as of right now, the same content is in both of these sequences, but now I can go ahead and start uh, cutting things out. Actually, I messed that up a little bit. As you can see here, I didn't cut in the full sequence. Let me pull this back here. Now I'll just cut it in again. There we go. So that is the full sequence right there. And now I could go in here and start replacing things. So I could replace this image here, which open up my images bin. And this is going to be the AK Modern Upright right here. And that is this image right there, which is right over here. Let me just untick all of those. And I just want just this track here. Let me lock this to the head of that clip and replace edit. And there we go, cut that in. Now, of course, I'll have to put my effect on there, which I have a bunch saved in here. So now what we need to do is cut in our footage. Now, if I was doing two separate pianos, all right, something completely different, say I was doing, I wasn't doing the gentleman, maybe I was doing, uh, I don't know, something, something else. I have a lot in here. Maybe I was doing, say, Grand Piano 1 from Sample Tank 3 or the, the uh, contact concert grand there, you know, two completely different pianos from what we already have in our sequence. Well, this would still be useful because we already have the basic structure laid out. And I don't, I don't even mean all of our effects here. Uh, what I mean is basically our ending caps here, our ending parts right there 
already laid out and ready to go. So even if I was going to replace all of this footage, this is still a very useful uh, technique. But in this case, you know what? We already have the gentleman. This is going to be the gentleman uh, versus our upright. So I need to only replace one track, actually. So I'll go in here and find it. It is the Addictive Keys Modern Upright right here. Very good. So I'm already locked exactly where I need to start that. And it's going to be on video two because we don't want to overwrite the gentleman. In this case, keep in mind, you may want to overwrite whatever is on your track there. So now I'll just simply pop that in. You can see, ba boom, ba boom, boom. Now I already had the structure laid out of my gentleman track, which I don't have to replace because this is, you know, piano versus piano. So now all I would need to do is pop in here and I'll just hold down control, right? And you pop back a little bit more. It's probably not B for you. I'm just a Pro Tools user. So I map my uh, add edit button or cut button to B. Then I can just go in here and I can literally just start cutting out the parts that I don't need. So I just cut this. Hold on control. Oh, went a little too far there. I want it right there. Very good. Control. Edit right there. Control. Cut it here. Very good. And as you can see, we're popping back and forth between pianos. And now all I need to do, since I already have my effects, which is just 3D warp on our gentleman track here, you can see it's just, uh, you know, just some scaling, things like that. Uh, now I could just come back to my bin, my master bin here, and grab whatever 3D warp I need to place on uh, on my addictive keys, which I don't, I haven't set up any yet, but let's just say this works. I could just, well, actually that does kind of work. So I could just pop that on the clips that I want, render this out, and I'm pretty much good to go. Okay, so that is how you edit a sequence into a sequence. And you can see it's very, very time saving, especially for things like this, in which I am uh, you know, going back and forth between pianos because I can just grab this and just cut out the part that I don't need. Just cut it here, down to there, very good. Lock it here, cut it there, pull it here. Very quick, very easy. Then again, like I said, just go in and add whatever effects I need. Render it out, and we have another Piano Wars video. Again, I'd have to replace uh, some of these images here and throw my uh, throw my effects on on there. But there you go. That is how you can edit a sequence into another sequence. Now, of course, whatever changes I make to this sequence, since it's the Addictive Keys versus the Gentleman, this is not affecting our Gentleman versus the IK Multimedia Jazz Upright, okay? Because we edited this sequence into a different sequence, so whatever changes we make here are not affecting this sequence here, which I can pop back into it. And as you can see, everything is still rendered out. Let me pop it up here. As you can see, everything is the gentleman and there is our sample tank piano, which of course we overwrote this entire video two track here and the audio in our other sequence. So whatever changes we make in this sequence are not affecting the sequence that we already have here. So we can reuse this over and over and over. So I know I'm going to want another sequence. And by the way, you can have more than one sequence per project. And by the way, this is a very easy uh, way to do a lot of similar stuff. So I know I'm going to want Concert Grand uh, versus, I think, Mini Grand. I want to do that one, too. So Mini Grand there. Very good. So we have that sequence. It's already loaded up here. There's no content in it. So then what I can do is just grab a sequence that I already have mapped out, throw it up here, do the same exact thing. I'll just make sure I cut the full thing in. Because I could, by the way, I could just cut in, say just a couple parts of that. Maybe I just want a certain part of that sequence. You know, we can do that. So now I just have this little section of this, of this more full sequence, which is right here. So that's the part I'm really cutting in there. All right, let's pop back over here. I just cut in that little part of a sequence I had made, made earlier. You can do that uh, as well, but I want the full thing. So let me clear those marks out. Come back to the beginning, cut the full thing in. There we go, and then I'll just go in here and come to, I'll go and lock right there. Let me head to my videos bin here. And this is going to be our contact concert grant. Again, make sure I have the full thing there. Let me expand this out so I'm locked to the correct part. Uncheck everything here, and I want video one, audio one, and audio two. Go ahead and cut that in. As you can see, it takes up the exact correct uh, amount of space there. 
very good that's cut in come back here and then audio three and four and here we want mini grand so let's load this up right there come back here let me go ahead and cut that in very good so i still have my intro and outro i just have to replace a couple things you know a couple pictures here but other than that i have everything set up exactly how i need it so then i'd come in here and just start doing my editing on the actual pianos here which in this case control z that actually make sure i have all of those selected and i just cut out this piano right here very good lock here i want these tracks i want that deselected add an edit there cut it to here and there we go now we're switching our let me monitor that track now we're switching pianos very cool all of that the power of editing sequences into other sequences now we'll go a little bit more into this let me close this project here all right so we only have one bin right now and we could of course go ahead and create a sequence and start cutting in all of our footage but maybe i want to work on my sequences a little bit uh you know a little bit differently let me uh go ahead and make a new bin now of course you don't have to have your sequences in a uh, different bin there but i'll go ahead and do that let me find my bin ah there it is threw it way over there drag this back over all right very good now let's go ahead and say a new sequence we'll just call this sequence one and I know I'll need more sequences, so I'll say a new sequence. And this will be a sequence, we'll just say uh, outdoors. Maybe I have a bunch of uh, you know outdoors footage that I'm editing together into a, into a sequence. And then we'll do another new sequence here. And this will be sequence, um, I don't know, we'll call it uh, people or something like that, okay? And of course you can have more sequences or less than this. So now let's start with sequence one. I'll go ahead and double click it to load it up there. And what do you say we go through our footage here and we just find let's just say i want this here at uh, the beginning we'll just go ahead and cut that in very good and maybe we'll come through here and find some other footage here maybe we want this in there for some reason we'll just pop that in maybe we want uh maybe this here in there pop that in playing basketball there okay so we'll just say that's our first sequence and keep in mind maybe we have already come in here and added a bunch of effects audio tracks and uh and what have you there so that's one sequence very good so maybe somebody else has worked on this sequence maybe uh you know you had somebody shoot a bunch of similar scenes and you want them to edit all of that together into one sequence and then later on we can always you know cut our sequences into our other into our other uh, sequences there so come back to my sequences bin here i usually use two monitors because all of these bins you know just take up a lot of space i could actually just dock this in there if i want that's a little bit easier so now we're going to do our outdoor sequences okay so here's a bunch of aerial footage what i'm going to do i'm just going to change my view here of this and i'm going to do something pretty cool here i'm just going to grab say grab this 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 and this i'm just going to throw all of that over here pops a sequence in for me very good and of course you know we've come in here and we've put a bunch of uh you know effects on all of this stuff maybe not that one um we've done a bunch of effects a bunch of effect work maybe graphic work or title work or whatever in this sequence very good we'll just say that sequence is now done and of course now we need to do our people sequence we'll go ahead and grab these here I'll just throw them in here. Okay, maybe right here I want uh, an, another clip in here. Cut that in there. Makes no sense, this is just an idea by the way. Okay, very good, so now we'll go back to my sequences. Now I might wanna come back and create a new bin, maybe call it you know, my master sequence or uh, my movie, whatever. But in this case, we'll just do it here. We'll just call it main sequence, very good. Make sure it's loaded up, it is. We can see right there, it's loaded up. Very good, now we can start cutting our sequences into each other. So I know this sequence here, let me just load this up here. Sequence one, 
Now, for sequence one, I really just want this opening shot here. So I'll just adjust it to about there. Mark my out there. And we'll just cut that in to my main sequence. So we're cutting from sequence one into my main sequence. See that? There we go. Now let me load up some of these outdoor sequence here. Very cool. So maybe I just want from here to there. We can cut that in. There we go. You know, sometimes it's, it's easier to work on certain sequences in their own sequence and then edit that sequence into your main sequence. You know, it, title work, some title stuff, graphic stuff. Maybe you're colorizing a number of clips exactly the same way, or you have a bunch of similar scenes you kind of want to edit in one sequence. And then later you're going to go into a different sequence and edit all of it together into a main, you know, your main, your final cut, as it uh, would be called. Okay. So, you know, like I said, we could, of course, load all of these up and just cut them in one at a time in one sequence. But like I said, sometimes it's just uh, pretty cool to edit this way. So now maybe I want part of this sequence here, which is our people sequence here to about there. And we'll cut that in there. So there we go. Now we have pulled from three different sequences and put it in one sequence. And we didn't have to reload the footage. We didn't have to, uh, we didn't have to import any more footage and we're pulling from the same footage that we used in these sequences here. Okay, so just keep all of that uh, in mind, how you can cut sequences into other sequences. And, you know, by the way, I could open a bin here. Let me see what I have in my project. I have a bunch of projects right now. Um, what do I have here? So maybe, I don't know if I still have this footage on here or not. Let me open this bin. Of course, it's going to throw it way over here. Throw this over here. Let me just pull this sequence up in here. See if I still have it. Yeah, I do. So here's our addictive keys. As you can see, it even has my title work, all that stuff in there. So maybe for some reason, I want part of this sequence, which is completely unrelated, but a sequence, you know, maybe you've made a sequence that you really like, and you just want to pull a part of, of a longer sequence into another sequence or another video uh, that you're making. So maybe I want to pop that in right there. Very cool. And you can see it added all the tracks that I needed. Let me monitor this top track. And everything is still completely rendered as it was uh, whenever I made that sequence uh, in the first place. Very cool. Come back down here. And of course, let's go back to our people sequence. Just drag it right up here. Now, maybe I want an earlier part of this sequence right there. And I'm going to cut that in down here. There we go. Okay, so if you've done work in a longer sequence, there's no reason to redo that work again whenever you can pull parts from a previous sequence or even pull full sequences to almost use as a, as a template and load them up into a new sequence. So that is how you edit sequences into other sequences. I really, really love uh, this workflow here in Media Composer because it saves me so much time, uh, especially with uh, things like these uh, piano wars and all kinds of other things. Being able to pull from previous sequences and have my basic, you know, layout uh, remain exactly the same. I can just replace the footage that I need to replace, and it's a brand new sequence. I'm not editing, uh, you know, the raw files or anything like that. You know, this is, of course, non-destructive. I'm not editing the previous sequence. We're editing a completely new sequence. We're not touching the old sequence, so our sequences will all, all remain intact. So I can go back here and see this sequence here is completely intact. This sequence here is completely intact, even though we pulled a bunch of information from it, a bunch of clips from it, basically, and then replaced certain footage into our new sequence. Okay, so that is editing a sequence into another sequence. It's basically like editing a clip into a sequence. It's, it's basically the same thing. We can just, you don't want to double click to load it up because that will, of course, load it up uh, in, your, in your timeline there. As you can see, you just want to grab it throw it up into your source monitor there, grab the parts that you want or grab the full sequence, whatever the case may be. Make sure you enable or, or untick the uh, tracks that you want or do not want first, and then just cut in the whole thing or just the parts that you want. Very easy to do. Great feature here in Avid Media Composer, editing sequences into other sequences. <laughs>